For many, this election is a foregone conclusion, one that promises little change in the country's political landscape. 72-year-old Dennis Sasungweso looks set to prolong his tenure, despite a major challenge by seven candidates who include former allies. What we are seeing all around our country today is democracy. People are being allowed to vote for whoever they want. That's democracy, and it shows how far we have come. The new Republic of Congo has come from far. Ngueso, however, says it's all about the will of the people, and that he needs more time to finish what he started. On the face of it, though, there was little enthusiasm about the exercise. In Brazzaville, many polling centers got off to a slow start. Streets were deserted, movement restricted, after the government imposed the ban on motor vehicles, save for those with special passes. Phone calls, SMS and the internet were also blocked due to what authorities described as a security threat. While stability and development have been at the core of Ngueso's campaigns, critics say he's done little to bridge the poverty and unemployment gap despite the country's oil wealth. If no candidate receives an outright majority, that is 40 to 45 percent, the top two candidates will go for a runoff. Final results are expected in at least two days. Jane Keo, CCTV, Brazzaville, in the Republic of Congo.